Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up the Deeper Network device. The Deeper Network is the world's first decentralized blockchain for truly private and secure internet. What they have added in this device is a built-in firewall, a VPN service, and ad blocking. There is no monthly subscriptions. When you buy the device, it's ready to roll. You just plug it in and get started. But as an added benefit, you can set it up as a miner. And that's what we do on this channel. And that's what we're gonna be setting up right now. So a lot of tutorials I'll make are usually for beginners to intermediate. I wouldn't call this a beginner tutorial. It's more at the intermediate level because you have to feel a little bit comfortable with crypto. So I broke this down into four steps. I hope I made it easy to follow. The first one is to log into your device. Then we're going to register it on the network. Once we're logged in and registered, we're going to be staking a DPR onto it so we can start mining. And the fourth step is to bind your wallet and start mining. Before we get into it, I wanna give you a little bit of a background on what to expect. Now, there's a lot of people on YouTube talking about how much money you can make. The one part that they're not telling you is how much you actually have to stake. So there's a scale of how much you can earn based on how much you stake. Deeper Networks is using a proof of credit system where you increase your score by the amount of bandwidth that you're sharing. This score will increase every 200 days with consistent uptime. And you won't start earning anything until you reach the score of 100. Now that will take 200 days, so keep that in mind. Now, you you can start earning immediately if you stake 1000 DPR. And at the time of recording, DPR is sitting at about 9.3 cents, so it'll cost you $93. You can begin at 1000 DPR. When you stake your 1000 DPR, you start with a credit score of zero. Every 200 days after that, your credit score will start going up and your earnings will start increasing. So it actually will take some time to get a return on your investment, which is the device that you just purchased. Now, if you want to jump ahead and start earning more, you can stake more. Deeper Networks allows you to buy your credit score from one to 800, depending on how much you stake. The more you stake, the more you earn. So you can see that over here, we are at level one. So if you stake 5,000 DPR, you get a credit score of 100, and then you can go up to 10,000 DPR, which gives you 200, and it just keeps going all the way up to a maximum of 100,000 DPR, which will give you 800. 1,000 DPR will give you a credit score of 800. That is the highest level of credit score that you can get when you're mining DPR. To get up to 100,000 DPR is not cheap. At the current price right now, if you were to stake 100,000 DPR, it would cost you $9,341.34. That is not a cheap way to do it, but that is one way of getting to the high, highest credit score. I'm gonna be starting with 5,000. Now, when you stake your DPR, it's not burnt. It's still your DPR, it's just being held. It's gonna be held for nine months. So you need to know that you won't have access to this DPR, but after nine months you will, and you'll be able to unstake it, and then you can do whatever transactions you want. You can cash out and get your full return. Now, if you have bought your credit score, so say you have a credit score of 30,000 and you've staked 30,000 DPR, you wanna take out some of your money right now. When you do that, you're actually gonna decrease your credit score as well. So if you take out 10,000 DPR, and you're down to 20,000 DPR, so does your credit score, it drops below, and you're not gonna be earning as much, and you can see the daily rewards, the daily earnings, the monthly earnings, and the yearly earnings decrease as well. So that's something to keep in mind when you're staking, unstaking, and going through the whole process. We're gonna use the Pico Mini. It comes with a power adapter and two ethernet cables. In this setup, we're gonna have an all-in-one modem, our Pico Mini, and a laptop computer. Let's connect them. We're gonna flip around our modem and you can use any port on the Pico Mini. So we're gonna connect one side with the ethernet cable and the other side is gonna plug into one of the LAN ports on your modem. Now we're gonna take the USB power cable that came with the Pico Mini, plug it in, and then we can also plug in the other end to a power outlet. We can grab our second ethernet cable, plug one end into the opposite side. Then we're gonna take the other end of this and plug it into our laptop. Once everything is properly connected and powered on, you notice that there is a flashing red light on the side. This will happen as it goes through its boot up sequence and connects to the network. When the light turns green, that means we're ready to go and we can register our device. We'll open up our browser on the computer that's connected to the Deeper Mini Pico, and we're gonna head over to 34.34.34.34. .34. This is gonna take us to the login page for the device. On this home page, you'll notice that there is a alphanumeric number right over here. This is a login code and we're gonna need it later on, so please take note of that. What we want to do next is log into this page and the default username is admin and the default password is also admin. Once you have that entered, click on login. Now we're at the home page, and you can see we successfully logged in and everything seems to be fine. If you wanted to just start using the VPN service, you could go ahead and do that and configure your location. One step that I urge you to do immediately is scroll down to the bottom here and change your administrative password. Because we're mining, what we want to do next is go ahead and open up another tab. The site that we want to go to is device.deeper.network. 
By default, it's gonna take you to the ERC20 website. What I recommend doing is switching over to the BSC or Binance Smart Chain. This is gonna save you a ton of money on gas fees. When you click on this little sign up button over here, it'll prompt you to switch, which is definitely the right move. So just click on confirm. The background color is gonna to change to brown and you'll see up at the top, it says basic mining registration BSC. So we know we're on the Binance Smart Chain right now and we can fill out all this information below to register our account. I'm gonna be selecting email. You can use mobile if you want, but email works best for me. Now you need to fill out all the required details like your email address, enter in the image code, the verification code, you just click on send. It's gonna email the address that you entered above. Some, it says it's gonna get there in about 60 seconds. I found it took a little bit longer. That countdown code, I don't think really matters because even after a couple of minutes, I entered in my code and it still worked. So you're gonna put in a password as well. Alphanumeric is definitely best. Next, you're gonna have your BEP20 address. So you can copy in your Binance Smart Chain address from your MetaMask wallet. And now you need your device login page code. And that was that alphanumeric long number that we saw at the beginning of this. It's gonna jump over. So you're gonna copy this number and then you're gonna paste it back in here. And next we're gonna need the serial number. So we're gonna go back over to the dashboard. Then at the dashboard, we're gonna look for device, click on that, and then we'll see system. And inside here, we're gonna have the serial number for our hardware device. So we're gonna highlight that and then copy it. Then we'll switch back over and then paste it in. I just received my verification code, so I'm gonna enter it in and then click on submit. Registration is successful, we can move on to the next step. To begin staking, we're gonna go back to the sign-in page. I'm gonna make sure I put this link in the description below. This is the BSC, Binance Smart Chain sign-in page. You're gonna enter in your username and password, then click on sign-in, and it's gonna prompt you to create a deeper chain wallet. So you can click on confirm. It's gonna give you some user information here. Your username is your email address. You can turn on and off TFA. Then if you scroll down a bit here, you have your BEP20 wallet, which is your Binance Smart Chain wallet. You have your serial number for your device. And then we have this link over here to create the deeper chain wallet. So we're gonna click on the button here to create the wallet. And it's letting you know that it's giving you a mnemonic phrase. This is very important that you write it down and keep it somewhere safe. Click on confirm. You're gonna copy all these words down on a piece of paper and make sure you have it in a safe place. Once you lose this, you lose your wallet. That means you lose your crypto. So you definitely don't wanna lose it. You can download the private key as well and you can store that text file wherever you wanna store it. And once you have that completed, you can go on to the next step. So we're gonna select the option where we wrote down our mnemonic phrase and we have to just re-enter it in. And what you wanna do is you wanna put it back in the order that it was given. So you go ahead and enter them all back in there. You can click on confirm and it'll bring you back to the main window. It right now says it's mining is not active. This will take some time for it to activate. Uh, for me, it took about 15 or 20 minutes. Now we're gonna choose a plan and this is where you wanna select how much DPR you're gonna be staking. I'm gonna be staking 6,000, but if you wanna stake more, you can move this scale across all the way at the top here and select the amount that you want. The more that you stake, the more APR and your daily return is as well. I'm ready to continue, so I'm gonna select stake. It's gonna prompt me in my MetaMask wallet to accept the changes. This area right now, you won't be able to see it, but it's asking me to accept the changes in MetaMask wallet, so I'm gonna accept it. And then it's gonna bring me back to this window and it's gonna process the transaction. It may take a few minutes for the transaction to be completed. We're at the main page for our device, which is the URL 34.34.34.34. We're gonna type in our admin username and password, click on login, and it's gonna take us to the dashboard. And what you wanna look for on the left-hand side is the DPR wallet right over here. Now, if you don't see this in here, what you're gonna to have to do is a hard reboot. Under administration, you get this reboot option. If you click on that, it's gonna reboot the device and when it boots back in, you should be able to see this DPR option. So we're gonna click on wallet and below we have the wallet manager and balance. As you can see, we have nothing, nothing in balance right now because we haven't done anything. If you click on wallet manager, you have the option to bind your wallet and that's what we wanna do. So you can use a mnemonic phrase that we just wrote down or you can use the private key, which is the text file you downloaded. I'm gonna use the private key because I had downloaded it. I've uploaded my private key. I can now click on okay, and it's successfully bound my wallet. Now you get the wallet address that shows up right over here, and you can click on wallet balance, and what will happen is you'll start accumulating DPR and it'll show up over here. Under mining, you can see the proof of credit mining. As you accumulate DPR, all the transactions will be listed in this window. It will take some time for it to be synced with the blockchain and load up. Uh, you will notice a difference within a couple of days. And that is all the steps to get your deeper miner up and running.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. I know this can be a little bit confusing and I hope I made this a little bit easier to understand. I'm also planning to make an update video to show my progress, how this miner is working out for me. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.